Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Realms of Antiquity. Um, blind, I need to add on every episode, just in case you can't read. Which is an ironic statement, I suppose. Um, so last time we were we'd freed some prisoners from this um, slaver camp, I suppose you'd call it. And we were just gonna we we're just gonna have a look on down on the southeast side. We we killed all the pursuers that came about from uh, us opening the cages, which we did irresponsibly. Uh, we got a word of power varian, which we've got written down here, which I've not yet transferred to um, something more legible or understandable or organised. But it's so I've got scribbled notes all over this. Um, this notepad, which, which by the way, I'm going to have to mention, right? This was given to me free um, at, at uni from uh, from a company. I'm not going to name the company, but um, there's like those job job fair things at uni where you can go and say, "Look, I'm studying all this sort of stuff, and are you interested in me?" And they say, "Well, we weren't really here for that kind of thing, to be honest." At this uh, IT job fair, we wanted something completely different. You say, "Well, okay, but can I have some free stuff?" And they give you stuff. Um, usually really, really crap pens, but this company gave me this notepad, which I'm using. But the thing is, on every single page, they've put their logo in set into the top left corner. So the lines on the notepad start at least the first one, two, three, four, four lines at the top. <clears throat> start on the right-hand side at the top half of the page. It's because the logo takes up the, the left-hand side of the page. I, I know. I know what your company is. It says it on the front of the notepad. It could just say it in little letters at the bottom. It does. In fact, it does. It says careers dot whatever the company is dot co dot uk. Um, it. I didn't. It really interferes with the note taking. And I'm sorry. I just have to say it because it's a little bit irritating. But things like that bug me. Anyway, back to the game. I'll put a timestamp so you can skip. I'm. I'm lying. I won't do that. Um. We've got a fight here, which is what we backed us where we went back and, and we, we took on that guy. What I'm going to do now before I get too close is um, eating through my stamina. Um, there might be a way around that. I've got, I've, I do have stamina potion, I think. Um, we're going to get the... What would be nice is it... And I'm, this is a really minor thing. But when I'm picking who to cast a spell on, let me grab my mouse rather than pointing at the screen because that would that might help. Um, whoever I'm casting the spell on here, if this moved to them on the index here, so if I went to Cat, this would flip down and point at Cat, and I could see her here because I'm not sure what I, I know. I know I've got to cast it for his board anyway. So, um, <clears throat> blah 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 blah. blah. And I can then just look and look at Cat. But then I've got to go back to Ism. If Cat was... That's the problem. There. That's the problem. That's the problem. But anyway. Three pirates. You know. Ho, ho, ho. That's their names. The Spardish, sometimes I, I'm a bit disappointed in it, actually. I might flick back to the steel longsword. I'm not sure if it's just against these guys that it's not so great. Cat's doing marvellously. Bang. Now look at that. That's completely different kind of just look of the drawer, I suppose. Not much experience, there's only three of them, five apiece. Uh, gotta cast the old heel again though. I'm glad I went with this one, in a way. Now there's a hut there that I can get into. Well, potentially. Uh huh, I'm gonna say we could be fighting the boss of all pirates, but we're not. In fact, we're just robbing the house. That's okay with me. Oh, 100 coins? I'll take it. Definitely. It's mine. All those ill-gotten gains. I don't feel the least bit guilty. 
I'm not going to go and give it away to the poor or anything like that. I'm just going to keep it. In fact, I'm using it to save the island, guys. So. Right. Got little details like the flowers and the stone. Hey, anyway, three pirates. We've made that joke before. I'm not going to do it again. We're just going to carve up some pirates. Some pirates. Two. Oh no, I pressed D instead of F. And it moved me to the right. Why? Never mind. Let's wade in. You. Two wax for you. And definitely two wax for you. I could have left him that cat walk up and smack him, but. Let's look in the chest. Cat's looking. She hasn't found a trap. We've got a sealed scroll, which we'll keep. I don't know. Yeah, backpack's full. Um, so we'll... No, I don't want to swap. Don't do that. Yes, keep. Cat. Excuse me while I mute a second. Okay. I've, um, I could do with a cup of tea. But I don't have one, just have a little bit of water left. Right, okay. Let's uh let's continue to the newest. This looks different, doesn't it? Save the game. There he is. This could be nasty. I don't know if this is a good thing to do or not. Entangle? I don't remember seeing that before. Uh, that's not what I want to see, Cat, to be honest. Um, is it, isn't bad. <clears throat> Cat Drake armor's just in itself something, definitely. Okay, Cat go. There's no point trying to kite uh, people with throwing weapons. Come on, Cat. That's what we want to see. Cat's going to finish you, mate. No, 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 no. Come on, Cat. Cat. <laughs> She's a beast. She's a beast. And I think, I think Ward was helping there. I think Ward was doing some um, anti-physical anti physical damage protection, yeah. That one. Or or just physical damage protection if you like. If you if you if you're simple about these sort of things, you know. Um come on cat, get in there. No trap found. What have we got? Quarrels? No. No, don't want an argument about it either. I'm full of it today. All these all these jokes singing out. We've got the ho ho ho. Equating quarrels with arguments. That's that's it, really. I'm going to bed after this. Exhausted. Right. That was well worth it, wasn't it? That was good. Word of power achieved. Um, I'm glad we found that place. Uh, still want to find this Crimson Tower. What sort of a shape are we in, party-wise? We've got um, lots of fatigue on our hero. That might recover as we sail about a bit. Just get Cat to do the rowing. Money's way back up. We've we've earned quite a chunk. Um, a fair a fair amount of that's gone. I mean, we we, we stole four hundred from those guys. Uh, this little tiny island. They didn't expect to be raided, did they? Not by a guy in a bomber jacket. Um. 
be pleased with that. It's got it's got a good sense of accomplishment. This game, and I really like. Um, I just like the world. Uh, I've got a couple of these games to get into. I'm waiting for Scold to come out. I'm not. I'm. I'm I've gone radio silent on that. Um, <clears throat> I've backed right off. I, I don't want to know anything about it now. Um, I'm in the channel on the Discord, but. Uh, I try not to read it. I don't. I'm trying not to. I like games to be completely unspoiled. And the problem when you start, uh, I have played some of the very early alpha stuff of Skull, and it, it was enough for me to feel that yeah, I, I'm I'm very interested in this. And I backed right off after that because it's like I don't want to burn out at the alpha stage, or um, or ruin things for myself. Um. So I've got that to get into. Really looking forward to that. Um. Scold RPG uh, against the Dark Priory or against the Black Priory, I think it's called. Um, I'm just let me confirm that I don't like uh, if I'm if I'm <clears throat> if I'm talking about something like that. I like to be um, accurate. So Scold against the Black Priory, yeah. Um, S K A L D against the Black Priory, uh, and it's another. Um, in, in the style-ish of C64, I guess. Commodore 64. It's another 8-bit game. Modern 8-bit game. This one, That one's not made for um, any particular system, I don't think. Um, like this is made for the, the, the Texas Instruments machine. Um, and Nox Arcade is another one um, that I, I bought before this. Uh, and I still haven't finished. I've I've done two two attempts at playing, and and not not because the game there's anything wrong with the game. I've just been end up distracted. Oh, there's a shipwreck! Look at that. I assume it's a shipwreck. Um, I've ended up getting distracted, <clears throat> and then drifted off from it. That is also an incredible game, um, with a very rich world, a very a very large game from what I understand as well, um, which I also I think this one is, is going to turn out to be um, let's take a look at so it isn't boss stamina is looking better our ration situation is not this arrow's gone down again it's not uh, I don't think so I'm now not thinking it's anything to do with rations I wonder what it is um, we've gone to level 5 which is good uh, excuse me while I just mute up again a second Okay, sorry about that. Pop, oh, why didn't I save? <clears throat> Saving now. Uh -huh. It is a shipwreck. Got a portal to the south. I love the sound of uh, of the footsteps on wood. The dunk. So yeah, I've got a few of these games on the horizon um, to play. It's, it's quite exciting. I think it's a great, a really, really great thing that people are um, like. Uh, Knox Case is developed for the Apple II, so that'll run on original Apple II hardware, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, they've even incorporated some some technology in that that uh, never quite made it into any game in Apple II, which is like a pulse width modulation. Uh, voice synthesizer, uh, synthesizer. Uh, synthesizer. Oh my god! Easy for you to say. Um, synthesizing. Thank you. Um, which is only used once, just at the intro. But it's it's great to see. I never really had anything to do with the Apple II. Not something that was common here. No, nor the Texas Instruments. Like I said, my uh, my gaming history was ZX Spectrum, and then more or less straight into the Amiga. Make it 500 and then the 500 plus a little bit of the 1200 but I never owned one um, and then from there to PC 486 so um, that side of it all missed but uh, the fact that you can you can run on the original hardware with these modern games modern recreations of uh, retro <coughs> retro gaming it's fantastic to me I love it um and quite often they're incorporating um, more modern UX as much as they can. 
um, user experience um, improvements, which means they're just better to play than the old styles of RPGs in a lot of ways, which are difficult if you don't have nostalgia or experience with them from, from childhood. Anyway, let's get on with the game. I'm sorry, I'm waffling. So, <clears throat> suddenly they began to rise. Fire burns in their mouths and eyes as they move to attack. We know what this is. Oh, what stupid case. Why? Why? Just have a case where, like, the wind brings them back or something if they're in it. I don't know. Oh, no. <clears throat> so, we, I kind of gathered something was going to happen here. I didn't think we'd come across this quite so soon. And I'm not even sure we can do it. What have you done, Curse? Curse Pirate? Why was that a good thing? Why couldn't you turn them into, like, lemmings or something? You have to turn them into something. Why, why not just sort of make them a fruit of some description? Oh, carving them with the bardiche, but it's not doing enough. We're going to get... Um, we're going to get a ward out on me. It's going to cost me extra stamina. But we're going to do it. Now... The blunt weapon damage isn't great either. I'm going to move Ket a little bit further. We've managed to clear that. Hopefully they've got... I was just about to say, hopefully they've got quite poor ranges of movement, but they don't seem to have. First things first, we're going to get the ward out on... Ket. <laughs> and then we're going to strike off to the left. That's better damage, that's what we want to see. Ket's going to come in. This is okay, this is okay, we can do this. Ward is great. I assume that's what's protecting me from um, significant portions of damage. That Bardish, the damage is so variable. 24 experience, we did okay. We did okay. The question is, what to do? What to do? Do we clear up? Do we mop up? And then push on? Or do we just try and push on? Could become overwhelming. Could become overwhelming. There's a lot of them here though. Let's just see how we do. They're only in small groups. They're only in small groups. And I'm not sure they can... Um, throw anything. Devastating. She's so good. Don't even mind when she's not. We're still warded. Which is good. Need to pay attention to that. So I thought it would wear off after every fight, but it's not. <clears throat> I do face a cursed pirate. One that I'm hopefully going to mop up this time around, yeah. That poor bugger only had a coin to his name. No wonder. No wonder they turn to piracy. It's an economic thing, you know. Uh... Oh, that's not where I wanted to fling it, actually. I was assuming it would target the same thing, but that's my mistake there. Leave that to Cat. We can focus on these guys. Thank you. I was worried for a second. No, 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 no. That oh, bloody body shot. I just don't know what to think about it. Come on. So, Ward's worn off on Isambard now. 
<clears throat> we've still got more to fight here. Oh. <laughs> uh, just laughing at the, not laughing at, but um, taking note of the terrain <laughs> we're fighting in. A wide section of ship exposed to the beach. Or the beach, you know, just sand blown in, I guess, but that rock made me laugh. Um, take a step back. Use the arrows I bought, that's what they're for. <clears throat> we can let him step in, we'll finish him with... Um... Oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? I shouldn't have done it. Right, I'm not warded. Why didn't I ward up? That's got to be fixed straight away. Because now I've got some effect on me and I'm not sure what that effect is. But it's time for... I uh, shouldn't have moved. Shouldn't have done that. Pay attention to the actions. Even worse that you give them a curse that curses other people. I mean... <clears throat> Let's just make this curse fun. Right. That's a problem. I'm not sure what it is. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Come on. Yeah. States. That one. Uh, so let me check the documentation, see if it's got something in the reference card. Um, Counters Exalt. It's Bane, isn't it? Thought it might be. I thought I recognised it. Bane. An Exalt Counters Bane. Well, we don't have Exalt on this on this Librem. We don't have it on this Librem. I wonder if this will tell me what Ward does. Resist bonus, all damage types protected from. That's, that's great. That's really good. Um, step watch, party protected by dangerous terrain. So some of the spells are written here. My god, I mean to charm, confuse a fear. Hmm. I want a mage in the party. I want a full-time mage in the party. And I can just load him with, with Librams. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so that's a penalty to all actions, but you know. Let's save let's save that. I should have uh, never mind. I even noted that it worn off. Locked Thank God we have cat. Just gonna pop in. Pinch your treasure. Uh, I know I'm saving a lot. I'm nervous. Come on, cats, get us in. Um, That's just the one. Not so scary, is it? <coughs> da -da -da -da. The stamina situation is not looking great on Isambard, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. I should have waited and then attacked. But as it turns out, come on. Oh, good. I was just. Oh my god. This is not good. Thank God for that ward. Thanks to Adamantia for saying something about that because I would have really been struggling 
with these fights without something like wow look at 35 that's that's a record <clears throat> without something like Ward. Okay. Open it then. There is a small black coffer here. Inside you see a curious stone. It appears like a chunk of red pumice with pieces of obsidian embedded within it. It glows in a regular pattern like a heartbeat. Come Nerevar. Well, we are out of here. What professional questers we are. Hey, who would have thought it? Raid successful. save that game it was um that was intense-ish so we've achieved quite a lot really uh it's 26 minutes i don't want this one to run to uh to 40 minutes uh, i knew it's a 30 which is a very south england thing to say um we are going to sail back to the uh walahari lorry tribe the natives, as they like to be known. I'm going to slap this on the desk and say, what about that then? What? What? No. No. This game. That was a place, I'm sure it was. No. Can't have been. No. But there was an event that occurred, but no, no, it can't be. Where are the oh my god, my memory is shocking now. Oh, don't get off. Let's check the ration situation. Got a clean 2,000 gold. Fatigue's looking okay. Wounds are all right. I can leave that. Uh, I swear that was the... Uh, the village. Must have been. There's Ebeness. We need to pop back into Ebeness. Look at this aggressive thing. Alligators or something this time Let's see if we can talk to the uh... yes random assess no I'm not asking to join I'm not asking to join I don't really if I think about the party composition and what I want another another combat character would, would be useful to form like a um help form a, a front line with the hero and I usually I do tend to if I'm if I'm forced into four party um, setups I like to combat and, and a caster and a rogue generally um, another way around it would be if I've got a strong in a front line some sort of ranged fighter um, but I don't know what there is out there and I could really be stitching myself up if I get um, um, Branamir on board and I come across something that's better suited for a start I, I, I want a mage <coughs> need a caster um, Paladin probably has got some magic affinity um almost certainly I'd know if I could remember what was in the manual in fact I could just check that now but um, but I won't I'll um, I'll cut it after uh, <clears throat> so I'm not going to ask her to join yet I'm pretty sure that's the village huh 
But what I am going to do is I'm going to heal up and take a rest. So that's me, that's Cat. We're back here now. I'm going to speak to um, Bro Gear. He's going to pay his extortionate fee for the chalet. The hut is small and filthy. You are relieved to wake up and leave. Yeah. No. Uh, get it tired. You're charging five gold, mate, on this little island. Five gold. Just get it swept out. You know. Put a mini fridge in or something. We are short on rations. 65, look. 1995. What a year. Right. Um, we've done all the things here, but what we do want is some rations. So we're going to pick up some salty fish. So Hartak last time, Hartak's given us 25. Let's see what salted fish gets. It's 50. 50 coins is, uh, is a fair whack. Um, but we've done it now. 1945 was not such a good year. Um, at least, you know, not till the end of it. I think 46 might have been marginally better for some, some places. Right. Um, <clears throat> P. The Parte. Yeah, so, God, I've got, I have, goldfish isn't even in it. But anyway, our rations are back up to where where we like them, above 100. Um, I'm going to call it there. We've done quite a lot. We need to find out what's, uh, that tribe, I'm sure that was the tribe, but I, I'll need to just double check the video. Um, but we're going to return the heart to Dagoth here, or whatever his name was. Um, and yeah, I feel like we've had a few decent adventure bound sort of uh, adventure filled even episodes there so feeling quite good about that anyway, take care and I'll see you next time, bye bye